Hello all, my name is Ankush Agni Utri. Today we will continue our journey in Angular. This is part 2 of it. If you haven't watched the part 1, I suggest you to watch it first. Link is in description box. So let's start. Today we will talk about our Angular prerequisites. Since this is a beginner level course, what we assume you have a basic knowledge of JavaScript for writing code and also the basic knowledge of the HTML and the CSS that is the cascade style sheet that will be used to design our user interface and then we need a code editor in this we are using the Visual Studio code that will be used for writing our angular app next so if you know about the oops that will be really helpful to understand the codes oops concept basically used to build our various business logic throughout the course so if you have prior experience by working in C++, C Sharp, Java or any other coding language that will be really helpful to understand the course but no need to worry these are the helpful skills also if you don't have any prior knowledge to the angular and the typescript no need to be worry we will cover all in this course so let's understand the course outline what we are going to be learn in this course so we will start our journey by understanding the typescripts why we need a typescript typescript and what is the purpose and how we can write code in typescript and then we will ready our machine by building our angular application with the code editor and by installing node and the npm package manager then we will first start our building the angular component then we will see how to build user interface with the templates interpolation and the directives and then we will power up our component with the data binding and format our user interface with the help of the pipes and then we will build our services to retrieve the data and inject them into our application and then finally we integrate our app with the backend server to communicate like the post and the get data from the server using the HTTP services which we also known as the APIs and then we learn about the navigation and the routing so that we can communicate with our app components and then we will learn about the angular module which is the basic backbone of our app and then finally we learn how to test deploy our app using the angular CLI that's it for today in next video we will start our coding in angular application please subscribe the channel to get the notification if you haven't subscribed it yet thanks for watching see you in the next lecture